so I can read. I brought my new Bible too. I know everybody's excited. Okay, so we know Friday that um, the day before Jesus died, that he told his guys, the disciples, his, his posse, <laughs> that they didn't need to be troubled, that they should never be troubled, that they shouldn't worry. And then, of course, he dies on the cross, and he waits till Sunday <clears throat> uh, to raise himself from the dead. And we know that he could have done it at any time, um, but he made us wait. So this is um, when they go to the tomb. So he's already uh, been hung on the cross. He's died. They put him in the borrowed tomb, and they rolled a stone in front of it, and then Pilate put um, guards in front of the tomb. So this is in Matthew uh, chapter 28, and it says, After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He is risen, as he said. Come on. He's like, come on in. Come. See the place where the Lord lie. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And indeed, he is going to be before you in Galilee. There you will see him. So he's telling the disciples to go to Galilee and to wait for him there because he's risen. So what I think is really cool about this part right here, because I know you guys were thinking that and you're going to ask me, Amy, what do you think is really cool about that? Is that the first person that Jesus let see him, the first person that he told that he was risen was a woman. And the first person he told to go spread the word was a woman. And that's pretty cool since I'm a girl. All right. So he's going to go meet the guys in Galilee. Behold, I have told you. So the, the women, the Marys, went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy. Because that'd be kind of crazy, like when they described that the, the angel was like all white and lightning. And um, so that would be like pretty awesome, but, but pretty scary sight all at the same time. So they went with fear and great joy and they ran to bring the disciples the word. As they went to tell the disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, rejoice. So they came and they held they held him by the feet and they worshiped him. And then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee and there they will see me. So they, um, they told him and they went. And some of the disciples, even after he, I'm going to skip through some of this. Um, they went to Galilee and they waited. And then it says, say that, you know, doubting Thomas. This is where it comes from. Thomas still doubted that Jesus was real, that he was truly risen from the dead because his logic didn't let him believe that or the facts didn't let him believe that. Um, so it goes on to the end. The disciples are there. He goes to the disciples. And when they saw them, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded to you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. So behold, I am alive. I am with you always, even to the end of the earth. And he says, Amen. Let it be so.